Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I will be ranking all Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronics from worst to best. And I do this every year. I started doing it, I think, in 2022 because I got my inspiration from the pixelated pumpkin. Shout out to him. Uh, but by the time this video is premiered, I don't know if whether I, I've done it before the pixelated pumpkin or if the pixelated pumpkin has done his before me. I don't know. But I am premiering this video af way after I've recorded this. I know, I know, I know for sure. But um, yeah, today I will be ranking the whole Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic lineup from worst to best, in my opinion. You know, these are all my opinions. So be respectful down in the comments down below, because as always, I do respect everyone's opinions. And it can get pretty stressful if people are just commenting, hey, I disagree. Hey, this is stupid. Because uh, it's really just my opinions. My opinions don't really matter. It's it's your opinion that matters. And you you're, you clicked on this video to see my opinions. So you're seeing my opinions right now. And you need to respect them. Otherwise, click off this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get to the ranking video of me ranking the Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic lineup from worst to best. Let's get straight into it. Coming in at the number 22 spot, the last spot on this list, we of course have Night Terror. Now, I know you, every pretty much everyone watching this video was expecting this because I have talked about how much I hate Night Terror all throughout the season so far. And it's just, ever since he was released, I hate this guy. And it seems every day I hate him even more. Uh, this could very well be, in my opinion, the worst Spirit Halloween animatronic ever released. Like, th I'm talking worse than Johnny Punk, worse than Young Crouchy, worse than just some of the other props that are just horrible. Like, Night Terror is an all-time low, I think, for Spirit Halloween. Like, this is just ridiculous. This is a prop that should be sold by Sunstar. But, well, it's not made by Sunstar, but if it were, then it should be made by Sunstar uh, and, and sold by Sunstar because the fact that even sound and light i mean this sound and light isn't really a good company but it's better than sunstar and this is i can't believe they released this I, I, ugh, it's horrible at least he's not a part of the official display he's only a filler prop i'm pretty sure but he really just sucks in my opinion night terror and I, i'm pretty sure you guys agree this is the worst prop of the year and definitely the worst of the year from spirit halloween and yeah, uh, the animation sucks. The audio, the freaking laughter is so freaking horrible. And honestly, he's made out of some cheap plastic. I can almost guarantee you that. And his face is just uh, a jack-o'-lantern, a black jack-o'-lantern that lights up. So yeah, um, I mean, I know it's supposed to be a budget prop, but it could be a bit cheaper. It's $100, which I think is way too much for what the piece of shit you're getting. So yeah, Night Terror, of course, the worst from Spirit Halloween this year. Let's move on. Now for this one, coming in at number 21st spot, uh, we have Emily and Victor. And I am considering the two of these props as one ranking because I l dislike them equally. Uh, and yes, I'm going to get a ton of crap for putting these two this low, but I really don't care at this point. I'll, I'll definitely be uh, just... Um, not replying to any comments to do with these two down in the comments down below. Uh, I really just don't like these at all. I think it was a very poor decision for Spirit to decide to uh, make licensed props from these two. These are two way too kid friendly. Spirit's been too kid friendly um, as it is. So for them to just go ahead and say, hey, let's just freaking make these two, license these two. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense at all. Um, they're They've been too kid friendly as it is lately, for with most of the props, and th these two are no exception. I I hate Emily and Victor. I've never even I, the movie wasn't even that good. I've never really liked it, and I hate just these kid friendly animatronics that Spirit Halloween have been re releasing lately. I just really do. So Emily and Victor, yep, I do I don't like these animatronics at all, and a lot of people do. And yes, they are very movie accurate, but then again. They're so kid friendly and they are not from a Halloween movie that I like. So Emily and Victor, definitely number 21st spot. Let's move on. In the number 20 spot, we have Max Straw. And this is an animatronic that a lot of people like and a lot of people don't like. And I fall 
as you can see in the group of people who really don't like this prop at all. And, you know, this is just ridiculous at this point. Um, it was, we got Night Stalker in 2021 as one of the worst scarecrows of all time. And now we have Max Straw. Now this is, this is a disappointment. I mean, it, at least he's better than Night Stalker, but not by much. I mean, after seeing this guy in person just a couple days ago, as I'm recording this a couple days ago, when this premieres, it'll be probably a week or two ago. Um, I really just, when I saw this guy in person, it just looked so horrible, so cheaply made. His head moving from side to side didn't even look that smooth. So the head moving is made badly. And uh, it's just such a cheap prop, such a, such a cheap looking scarecrow animatronic. And it really just sucks in my opinion. Nothing really good about it other than its height. Although the height is really the pitchfork. The scarecrow itself isn't even that tall. So yeah, it's really disappointing in person. When you see this guy in person, he looks like a complete joke. So Max Straw, number 20 spot, not good at all. But um, yeah, he's just, at least he's better than Night Stalker, but only by a little. At least the face is kind of creative, but then again, it's a big smile. So it's more kid friendliness from Spirit Halloween. So yeah, Max Straw, I'm not a fan of at all. Let's move on. Okay, here in the number 19 spot, we have Bobby Strings. Now, this is an animatronic when it was, you know, the photos were first released, when we first got the good look at it back on June 20th. I thought that this was such a cool animatronic. I thought that I was going to love this animatronic, and I thought it would be one of my favorites of the year based on its appearance and based on what it looks like. But when the video got released and when just the whole prop was released and the audio was released, it really just fell down the hill for me. Uh, yeah, it's the audio on this guy kills the prop for me. It completely kills the prop. I hate it. The audio is literally just a little boy singing a rhymy, stupid song, and it just sucks, and the phrases are way too kid-friendly. It's literally a kid, so how much more Fred Kenley can you get? But, um, I mean, here's the thing. At least he looks cool. In person, he will look pretty big and menacing he's a you know a giant marionette so at least the design they designed him well the face is kind of creepy and the animation is good but everything else is just absolutely horrible about him i hate the audio i hate just i hate the phrases and it, it really does kill the prop for me bobby strings is not good at all and i overestimate i just really overhyped him way too much and i i'm uh, it's it really is too bad because this is such a nice concept and Spirit just ruined it with the audio as they do with some props. So it's unfortunate, but Bobby Strings is not one of my favorites at all. Coming in at number 18 is the new for 2024 Michael Myers animatronic. And yep, I've said this a lot. This is a letdown. Um, although I wasn't really expecting or wanting a Michael Myers animatronic this year from Spirit and Halloween. So it's not really, it doesn't really make me that pissed off, but still, it's not a good Michael Myers animatronic at all. The face is done really bad. Uh, it doesn't look good at all. It's a lot worse than the 2018 Michael Myers we saw from Spirit Halloween. The hair just looks all weird and flat and too dark, in my opinion. And overall, the animation is, you know, what you expect. It turns from side to side, does the stabbing motion, head, head has animation. So the animation isn't bad. But the overall appearance to me just looks not good at all. Um, so it is a pretty bad Michael Myers animatronic, and I don't like it at all. But um, I, yeah, it's just horrible in my opinion. Well, not really horrible, just not good. Um, of course, some people would find this very creepy to have on your front lawn, and that's in that's pretty cool. But it's just not a good Michael Myers animatronic in my opinion, and I'm ranking it this down low because uh, it really doesn't look too good at all. The face, like I said, is bad. The hair is bad. Everything's bad except for the animation. And, and the audio is pretty bad too. I, I don't like the song they used for the audio, but yeah. Uh, that's number 18 spot, Michael Myers. Let's move on. Here we have our number 17th spot being Gravestone Ghoul. And uh, this is another animatronic that I did get to see in person for you know the grand opening of the 
first Spirit Halloween that opened that was near me, close enough to my house. And I did see it in person, and it did kind of grow on me a little, but it is really small in person, and it is... It's a nice little, you know, graveyard, you know, cemetery themed prop, which is why I keep on saying I wished it was released back, you know, last year for the cemetery theme. But it is Gravestone Ghoul. And I, I like, as you can see, it's not one of my favorites. And it is pretty bad and pretty cheaply made. But I mean, at least it's at least it's scary. It would be scary for little kids. But it's just too small for me. And the animation is just this, you know, moving uh it's basically like moving. It's basically like Mr. Punchy's animation, just really fast, um, and it kind of like the head bobs. So it's it's okay. It's not horrible, horrible, but it's not one of my favorites, and it's um, it's not good in my opinion. So Gravestone Ghoul, number seventeen spot. Nothing, nothing much to say other than it's just a pretty simple graveyard prop that isn't really my cup of tea. So yeah. In the number 16 spot, we have the Cremator. Now, this is not really an animatronic, but it is a part of their 2024 lineup. So that's why I included it in here. And um, I, he's kind of grown on me a bit. Like, I, I mean, he's still kind of boring. You know, he's a static prop, so he's not like that crazy, that cool. But he has grown on me a little bit. I like his light effect, actually. His light effect, his flame effect has actually grown on me quite a bit. And he's overall a pretty cool looking character. He's, you know, he's a hooded figure holding a flaming skull. So that's pretty unique and cool. And I really do like the phrases, actually. The phrases are really cool. The voice is really, you know, evil and dark and menacing sounding. So pretty much everything about this prop is really cool. It's just I wish they add, I wish they didn't have this as a static prop. I wish it was an actual, you know, animatronic that like, you know, maybe moved from side to side or did something cool but it's i mean it's all right it's it's moved up on my list for sure i do actually it's grown on me quite a bit and this is now we're getting into the area of animatronics now that i wouldn't say i hate or don't like uh we're getting into the area of props that i would say i think are actually pretty good just not the best so the cremator is basically the um basically just the definition of a prop that i like but i don't like too much and um, yeah, it's grown on me, and I haven't seen it in person yet, but um, I probably will soon. So the Cremator, number 16 spot, not one of my favorites still, but has grown on me a bit, and I don't think it's a bad prop at all. I just think the price, maybe, since it's a static prop, should be a bit lower since it's it's $200 for a static prop. I got Rick Ratman for $200. He's a much better prop. But the Cremator, he, he's a pretty good prop. He's a pretty cool character. He's just not one of my favorites. So let's move on. Coming in at number 15, we have Towering Tallulah, the, uh, yet again, another Mr. Dark reskin. Now, we got Mr. Dark, which was an absolute banger. We got Hellspawn last year, which was another absolute banger, in my opinion. But this year, we got Towering Tallulah, which is a letdown for sure in terms of Mr. Dark reskins. I think they could have done something a lot cooler. Maybe the, like the, the pumpkin monster reskin of mr dark that they were thinking of that techie was thinking of but then that got leaked so they decided to replace it with a witch reskin which i think is a little bit stupid um the, this massive jump scare doesn't really fit a witch in my opinion um but then again Tallulah is supposed to be a towering Tallulah a giant witch so i guess it kind of makes sense but it's still not really the best idea for a Mr. Dark reskin, in my opinion, and I think they still could have just stuck with that pumpkin reskin, but um, it is in number 15 spot, so it's not horrible. Towering Tallulah is still kind of grown on me. I do like, I like the face a bit. I think it's an actually pretty creepy witch face, but um, it's just fine. It's not, not anywhere near as good as Hellspawn or Mr. Dark, that's for sure, but Towering Tallulah, pretty decent, just not a good idea for a Mr. Dark reskin at all. Coming in at the number 14th spot is the static ghost face. Now I was thinking whether or not I was going to include this in the ranking video, but I decided to because, you know, I included the cremator. So I might as well include this, which is the static ghost face. Now the name literally says it, it's a ghost face, but it's static. It doesn't move at all. Um, it just has, you know, a cool light up effect and, 
a and some noise, a stabbing noise and a screaming noise. And in fact, the screaming noise, the screaming, you know, used in this prop is the same scream from Darling Dolly, which I think is a little weird how they did that. But um, and by the way, it's weird because Darling Dolly is correct me if I'm wrong. She's made by Techie, but this is made by Party Time. So I don't know how they got the same recording. I, I don't even know. But um, it's fine. It's a fine, nice static prop. I think this is the area of props where I actually do generally think is kind of cool. So the static ghost face is a pretty simple, nice ghost face prop that people can get, I guess, like beginner haunters can get to put on their front porch. Um, I like the light up effect, uh, but some people are mentioning how the ghost face never really lit up like that in the movies. So it is kind of weird, but I, I think it's a cool addition, I guess you could say. And I think it overall is a pretty cool. I mean, it's a, the mask is like um, just a white ghost face mask. So yeah, so it's, it's decent. It's pretty interesting. And it's something that I, if I still had any money left, I might consider getting because of the, the price is pretty cheap, but um, yeah, the static ghost face, not one of the best this year, of course, but better than the cremator in my opinion, but Definitely not better than the actual ghost face that they released this year. But yeah, still a pretty neat static prop in my opinion. And yeah, that is the static ghost face. Pretty interesting. In the number 13 spot, we have Nibbles the Clown, which is a clown that I was, you know, a little bit skeptical on when he was released. I thought he looked kind of weird uh, when I first saw the photos when he was released. But then I realized he had motion tracking technology. Um but then when his video came out, his phrases pretty much killed it for killed the prop for me. I just think his voice is too, way too goofy in my opinion. Uh, I don't like it at all. It also sounds kind of weird. Um, and when I've seen videos of this guy at flagship and other stores, it doesn't really seem that the motion tracking technology works that well. So this is a big letdown. Nibbles the Clown is definitely a big letdown. But um, overall, he's still pretty. He's not horrible because I'm sure some like. Uh, models of him will work but uh i really just think he's kind of a letdown but he's still pretty interesting and he is a clown and clowns are usually my favorite but um it seems this year that uh at least some of the clowns are kind of bad um especially nibbles but he's fine i i, I maybe when i see him in person he'll i'll grow he'll grow on me i don't know uh, but that's Nibbles the Clown, number 13 spot. Let's move on. In the number 12 spot, we have Giant Death Ray. Now, this is the section of, you know, this is where we get into the animatronics that I do actually like. Uh, from now on, these will be all pretty good props, in my opinion. So this is Giant Death Ray. Spirit's, pretty much Spirit's first giga prop. And I actually really, I, I, after seeing this guy in person, it's safe to say I think he's pretty cool. I do like his massive size. I love how he's a giga prop. I love how he's, you know, like a giant towering alien with his servo head animation, which is really cool. And I think the light up effect on his chest and on in his eyes look just just looks really cool and would look even cooler in the dark. Um, yeah, nothing much to say about Giant Death Ray. I just really like him. He looks really cool in person in the store, and he's just overall a really cool giant uh, alien animatronic that Spirit released this year. So yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Giant Death Ray. Coming in at the number 11 spot here on this ranking video, we have Barnaby the Bear. Now, uh, I was actually originally planning on getting this guy early in the year because I thought I'd actually really think he'd be one of the best of the year. But as you can see, he falls at the number 11 spot, which isn't bad. I still really do like him. I, I think he's an interesting and unique carnival uh, type animatronic, but... I think there are some problems with him, like his fur kind of looks bad in person, and he overall looks kind of—he overall just looks kind of cheap in person. But he still looks—he's a fun little cool uh, addition to their carnival lineup this year, which is nice. But yeah, Barnaby the Bear—I uh, just—I'm uh, glad I didn't get him though, because he is overpriced in my opinion, and I got Rick Ratman instead, which is you know a way gorier and better prop in my opinion and way better design but barnaby the bear still good prop in my opinion and it's nice to see something other than, than a clown um in the carnival as a carnival character so yeah barnaby the bear still pretty cool just uh not not as good as i thought he'd be uh in reality now here we are to our my top 10 
favorite Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronics. And coming in the number 10 spot, we have Wanda Webworth, which is a really cool, creepy, scary spider creature. And after seeing it in person, it's safe to say this is actually a really cool animatronic, and it does look really cool in person. Now, of course, not one of my top five, but definitely deserves number 10 spot because I think the design is really cool. I think overall in person, it looks a lot better than on video. I think the face is very detailed and creepy with all those eyes on it. And the mouth is just so cool. And the animation is just good. It's just perfect for, for the animatronic. The mouth moves and the arms, the spider legs move. So I think it's a very cool, creepy spider creature. And yeah, number 10 spot, Wanda Webworth. In the number nine spot, we have Dark Princess, which is an animatronic that has grown on me quite a bit since it was first released. Now, when she was first released, I really didn't like her, but um, now I really do like her, and I think when I see her in person, I'm going to like her even more. I've already seen unboxing videos of this animatronic and, you know, videos of her from Flagship, and she does look a lot better in person than in the actual demo video from Spirit. Yeah, Dark Princess, really cool uh, jump scare uh, prop made by Crazy Create. I think she really has grown on me quite a bit, and she is, you know, one of my favorites of the year, and I can't wait to see her in person. Uh, she's a very cool character. I love her creepy face and her dark wings. And I think uh, I just really like her. She's a very creepy and unique type animatronic. And I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing her in person. So yeah, Dark Princess. Coming in at number eight, we have the new for 2024 Ghostface animatronic from Spirit Halloween made by Party Time. And uh, the thing is, I did see this guy in person, but he was set up completely wrong. And I still kind of liked him, how he looked in person, but he was set up really wrong. So when I do see him set up the correct way, he's going to grow on me a lot more. And I do think this is the, a, quite a good Ghostface animatronic. I think he's definitely a lot better than the one we got in 2021. And I think it's really cool how you can just use two different masks for this guy. I think it's really cool. And overall, I just think he, I can't wait to see him set up uh, in the correct way because I think he'll look really cool. I love his head tilting motion. I love his phrases and I love his stabbing, his fast stabbing motion. Really cool ghost face animatronic. And yeah, that's number eight. Coming in here in the number seven spot, we have the Ringmaster. Now, this is an animatronic that I think will really grow on me when I get to see him in person for the first time. Uh, and I, he still has grown on me a lot. I think he's a very, like... I think he's very cool. I love his outfit, his classic ringmaster outfit with his skull cane that he's holding um, or staff or whatever you want to call that he's holding. I think his face sculpt is pretty good and detailed. And I think the overall idea of a ringmaster uh, for, to, you know, to introduce you to the carnival theme this year is really cool. And I like how he leans back and it shows the proje projection of the skull, uh, the Blackheart Skull, which, by the way, I wanted to mention, why the hell is this guy made by Party Time, since the Blackheart is made by Crazy Create? I don't know why, but it clearly projects the Blackheart Skull onto his stomach, so, yeah, but that's the Ringmaster. Really cool, and overall, I can't wait to see him in person. He's going to be a huge guy to see. Coming in here at the number six spot, we have Demonic Gatekeeper. Now, this is a prop that has really grown on me like massively. Like at the beginning of the season when he was first released, I actually did not like this guy at all. I thought he was so lame looking. But now that I've seen videos and unboxings of this guy, uh, I really do like him because in person, I tell you right now, he is ginormous. I haven't even seen him in person. And on video, he looks ginormous. He looks He's a mutant, like reaper type groundbreaker. That is just such a cool graveyard cemetery animatronic, and it's so unique. The skull is massive on this guy, and I love the fiery, like, light-up effect on his face and uh, uh, chest. So, yeah, really cool Demonic Gatekeeper, number six spot. Definitely one of the bests of this year. Definitely one of the best animatronics of the year for Spirit Halloween, and, yeah. Uh, too bad he's only a filler prop, but hopefully I do get to see him in person. So, yeah, Demonic Gatekeeper, number six. And now we are finally down to my top five favorite Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronics. And here we have Art the Clown, to no surprise. Uh, I overall just really love the design of this guy. I think he is so movie accurate. I love his outfit. I love his face sculpt, especially his face sculpt. YJ did a great job on this guy's face. 
uh, making it as movie accurate as they could. And the animation is really good too. I love the waving animation. I love him moving from side to side and his head moving. Uh, the only thing about this guy that could probably get a little boring is the honking noise. I think that could get a little boring and repetitive and a bit annoying at sometimes. But overall, that's not that big of an issue. I think he's still a very fantastic licensed animatronic, and I can't wait to see Art the Clown in person. So yeah, there's Art the Clown in the number five spot. Down to my top four, we have Shirley Stab in the number four spot. Now, uh, this is a really cool animatronic in my opinion. It's such a unique one, such an antique looking one. It's like an old 80s housewife type killer, uh, like a killer housewife. I really do like it. It's really unique. I love how it's like a lady with a carved out jack-o'-lantern face that's bloody. Uh, lots of gore on this one. Not Well, not as much gore as Rick Ratman, but... Shirley Stab still has lots of gore on her face and lots of blood, which I think is really cool. I love the carved out Jack Lantern face on her. It makes her look so creepy and just so unique. And she has a simple stabbing motion, but it does the prop justice. It's uh, I think it's actually really creepy with actually uh, that like little of animation. I think if she had more animation, it'd make it less creepy. But yeah, with her just stabbing with her arm with the knife and... Her light-up effect, I think that's really creepy and would look really cool in person. So yeah, Shirley Stab, number four spot. Really, like, just amazing animatronic and it's really unique. Here in the number three spot, we have Cotton Candy Dan. And uh, at the beginning of the season, I was originally thinking that this would be my favorite animatronic of the year from Spirit Halloween 2024. But no, it isn't. Um, and it's another animatronic if you've been paying attention uh, well, it could be either one, but I think I'm pretty sure you know which one it is by now. But yeah, Cotton Candy Dan's still a very unique clown. I love his zombified face. I love him, po the head popping out of the cotton candy bucket. Really cool. And just overall, a really cool carnival clown. I really like his outfit. His face is really creepy, like I said, zombified. And yeah, he's just a really cool clown to see in person. And once I saw him in person for the first time, I just really liked him. And yeah, Cotton Candy Dan, number three spot. And finally, here we have my second favorite Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic. And originally when I was making this, I wasn't going to include any returning animatronics in this ranking. But things kind of got effed up, so I had to add this guy into the ranking. And yeah, number two spot is Creepy Towering Clown. Overall, just a really cool return. Really creepy clown. I, I really wish he was a part of the carnival theme. But um, yeah, overall, one of the best clowns Spirit has really one of the best clown animatronics Spirit Halloween has released in history, and definitely a very creepy, towering clown. So yeah, that is uh, number two spot, and yeah, really, really cool. Um, I love his animation, I love his just overall everything about him. So yeah, creepy, towering clown, that's my second favorite animatronic from this year's lineup from Spirit Halloween 2024. Now let's move on to my favorite Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic. My number one favorite Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronic is, of course, Rick Ratman. Now, I've, I have actually recently got this guy, and I'm so glad I did, because he truly is the best of the year. He And I, I think it's pretty obvious. He has so much gore. Crazy Create put it, so much blood all over the, this guy. Uh, I love the concept of a zombie getting eaten by rats. It's so unique and so cool. And I just... I, this is honestly one of the best zombie animatronics we've gotten in a long time from Spirit Halloween or from any company, to be honest. This is just such a cool animatronic. I'm so glad I got him. Rick Ratman is truly an amazing animatronic. The gore is just amazing on this guy, and it's such a breath of fresh air, like I said in my review, to get a break from the kid friendliness we've been getting with this guy, Rick Ratman. Definitely the best animatronic of the year from Spirit Halloween. Uh, and yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video of me ranking all the Spirit Halloween 2024 animatronics from worst to best, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, Rick Ratman for the win. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.